Solane stanophylla is a species of flowering plant in the family Caryophyllaceae, commonly called narrow-leafed campion. It is a species in the genus Selene. It grows in the Arctic tundra of far eastern Siberia and the mountains of northern Japan. Frozen samples, estimated via radiocarbon dating to be around 32,000 years old, were discovered in the same area as current living specimens, and in 2012 a team of scientists successfully regenerated a plant from the samples. Habitat and Description S. Stenophylla grows in the Arctic tundra of far eastern Siberia and the mountains of northern Japan. It is typically 5 to 25 centimeters tall, has narrow leaves, and a large calyx. It blooms during the summer and has incised petals that are lilac, light pink, or white in color. It is a perennial that grows on stony cliffs and sandy shores. S. Stenophylla is one of a few Berenchian plant species that did not establish itself in North America. Recovery of frozen remains. A team of scientists from Russia, Hungary and the United States recovered frozen saline species Caryophyllaceae, saline stenophylla seeds and remains from the Pleistocene age in 2007, while investigating about 70 ancient ground squirrel hibernation burrows acacias, hidden in permanently frozen lower size deposits located at Duvanyar on the right bank of the Lower Coloma River in Saka Republic, northeastern Siberia, in the plant's present-day range. Using radiocarbon dating, the age of the seeds was estimated at between 20,000 and 40,000 years, dating the seeds to the Pleistocene Epoch. The embryos were damaged possibly by the animal's activity. The research team presented the findings at the Botany and Amp Plant Biology Conference in Chicago, Illinois in 2007. The burrows were found 20 to 40 meters below the present-day surface. Usually the rodents would eat the food in their larders, but in this case a flood or other weather event buried the whole area. Since the rodents had placed the larders at the level of the permafrost, the material froze almost immediately, and did not thaw out at any time since. More than 600,000 fruits and seeds were located at the site. Duvaniyar The Duvaniyar section exposes the Yedoma ice complex a sweet and is studied by many scientists as it represents a key strategic cross-section of late Quaternary period East Siberian stratigraphy and an important key section for the paleo-environmental history of the late Pleistocene Beringia land, the non-glaciated land mass between the Tamir Peninsula and Alaska, near Duvaniyar is the Pleistocene Park, a nature reserve on the Kolomo River south of Chersky where an attempt is being made to recreate the northern subarctic steppe grassland ecosystem, that flourished in the area during the last ice age. Regeneration In February 2012, a team of scientists from the Institute of Cell Biophysics of the Russian Academy of Sciences announced they had successfully regenerated specimens from fruit that had been frozen for 31,800 years according to radiocarbon dating. The accomplishment surpasses the previous record for the oldest plant material brought back to life of 2,000 years set by Judy and date palm seeds. According to the BBC, the team led by David Gilichensky used material recovered in 2007 by Stakow Al Gilichinsky who was head of the Geocryology Lab, Institute for Physiochemical and Biological Problems in Soil Science at the Russian Academy of Sciences, Moscow, for many years, died in February 2012, just before the paper was published. He was recognized by the team as a pioneer in studying microorganisms in Siberian and Antarctic permafrost. His achievement attracted scientists from all over the world to research on permafrost life systems. 
Initially the researchers attempted to germinate mature seeds recovered from the fruit. When these attempts failed they turned to the fruit itself and were able to culture adult plants from placental tissue. The team grew 36 specimens from the tissue. The plants looked identical to modern specimens until they flowered, at which time the petals were observed to be longer and more widely spaced than modern versions of the plant. Seeds produced by the regenerated plants germinated at a 100% success rate, compared with 90% from modern plants. The reasons for the observed variations are not known. According to Rob and Robert of the Millennium Seed Bank, the demonstration is by far the most extraordinary example of extreme longevity for material from higher plants to date. It is not surprising to find living material this old but is surprising that viable material could be recovered, she added. The Russian scientists speculated that the tissue cells were rich in sucrose which acted as a preservative. They also noted that DNA damage caused by gamma radiation from natural ground radioactivity at the site was unusually low for the plant materials. Age and is comparable to levels observed in 1300-year-old lotus seeds proof and to germinate. Probit hopes that the techniques developed in the resurrection of Selene Stenophila may one day be used to resurrect extinct species. Paleontologist Grant Zazula, who has previously disproven claims of ancient regeneration, said, This discovery raises the bar incredibly in terms of our understanding in terms of the viability of ancient life in the permafrost. The successful regeneration of the Selene Stanophila plants was cited in 2014 as the inspiration for experiments that discovered a viable giant virus, Pithavirus Sibiricum, in 30,000-year-old Siberian permafrost. The virus infects amoebas. 